I think we've got something really, really special going at Extra City Football Club, and I think tonight is a is another step on that on that journey. We continue to grow. We've got our brilliant academy rolling out. Stars like Matt Grimes, players in the current team, Molly Watkins, Christy Pym, Ethan Ampadu, players behind that, McHugh, like Jack Sparks. Um, as a result of selling one of our uh, protégés, Matt Grimes, we're really investing in the club and we now have a fantastic uh, new 3G pitch out at our training ground. The best in the country, the newest and, 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 and the best. We've got our own redevelopment plans here at the ground and we've got our ever-expanding Football in the Community charity. So much to be proud of. I don't believe at any time in the history of the club have we been ticking so many boxes in terms of uh, growth and development. For most of our trust life, the focus has been on adult membership of the trust, individual membership. But we've recognised that we need to be ambitious as a football club and the trust needs to be matching that ambition, indeed leading that ambition. We need to build out from the base we've got. So we're currently focusing in three areas to, to grow our membership. Um, the first is junior membership. Clive is doing a fantastic, Clive Harrison doing a fantastic job uh, on, the, on, on the, 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 the junior Grecians and growing uh, the junior membership of the trust. One of the things that we're starting to really build on is uh, our links with the university. We've now, for the first time ever, got a Grecian society at the university, very successful and growing society of supporters um, of, of the football club. And again, we know, and I'm probably living proof of that, that often it's when you come to university uh, in Exeter, you first come here, you first fall in love with the club, and then it becomes a sort of lifetime uh, commitment. But tonight is all about the, the, the third group, so as well as the juniors and the students, and that is the business community, uh, your good selves. Um, I think we realised that really we were missing out on a big part of our supporter base. Um, you play such a vital part in uh, the local community and we believe that businesses should be as much owners of our club as individual members. So we decided to establish a new corporate membership for local businesses to join us. season. Um, I come back, obviously moved back to this area um, and people were saying to me, you know, there's no players been on the trust, is it something that you would like to do and get involved with? And It's a no-brainer for me, you know, I, I, that's why I moved back to Devon, um, it's a lovely area, um, I love the club, could have gone back to London but I don't really want to, want to bring my children up there, so <laughs> I don't think my estate's there no more, it's been knocked down. Um, and it just it just made sense. Um, so I thought, well, I'll put my name forward and give it a go, and I got elected on. But you know, the way I'm looking at it, and, and what I want to try and bring to the table is, you know, obviously the junior side and where our next trust members are coming from, because we ain't all going to be around forever. And it's it's that's the angle that I want to look at and, and try and help. But as I said, Clyde's doing a great job at the moment. I'm just trying to support him on that and obviously with what we want to do with, with the football in the community and that's, that's where I'm coming from with it. Um, you know, because I remember, you know, 
that always used to be for the kids and not so much it is now we're, we're getting the results but for me that's that's our next generation of, of trust members so if I, I just want to try and support the club in that way and obviously what Clive and the rest of the, of the trustees are doing and they're all doing a great job great, thank you.